my dear students good morning this is deepak kumar and today i shall be taking up the chapter the necklace that is written by gay de mopasa i have already completed the chapter in the online classes today i shall be discussing with you question and answers of this chapter so i request all of you to listen to this audio content carefully let's start one the course of the loisel's life changed due to the necklace comment matilda loisel was a very pretty girl married to a pretty clerk she was very ambitious and demanded too much from life an invitation to a ball from the minister elated mr loisel but matilda was unwilling as she did not have proper dress and jewelry on her husband's advice she borrowed a diamond necklace from her friend for the purpose she looked very beautiful that night and stole the show as they came back home she found the necklace missing she was shocked and from that very moment her life took a turn towards ruin the price of the necklace was beyond their reach she sacrificed all her comforts and even all her needs to get money to buy a new necklace and give it to her friend because of overwork tension and lack of care she became a physical weak wreck happiness of one night changed her whole life way life's ways and style wearing a necklace for one night grabbed her neck for the rest of her life the whole course of her life changed due to the necklace question number 2 what was the cause of matilda's ruin how would she have avoided it over ambitiousness and dissatisfaction were the causes of matilda's ruin matilda was an extremely beautiful girl who expected too much from life unfortunately she was married to a very simple and ordinary man who could not provide her all materialistic luxuries which she wanted for a ball party in his office she borrows a necklace from her friend and ruins her married life as the necklace is stolen that very night just to arrange money for the cost of the necklace she worked too hard and spoiled her whole life she could have avoided it if she had told the fact to her friend that she had lost the necklace her friend would have told her the actual price of the necklace as it was not a real diamond necklace that she could easily afford by hiding the reality and actual facts she ruined her life question number 3 What would have happened to Matilda if she had confessed to her friend that she had lost her necklace? The course of Matilda's life would not have changed if she had confessed her confessed to her friend that she had lost her necklace. The life of Matilda and her husband was thoroughly changed just to give back the necklace. They sent away the maid to cut the expenses and worked day and night. She lost her charm and charisma as a as a result of hard work but she could have avoided all these miseries and sufferings of such a long period if she had confessed to her friend that she had lost her necklace for if you were caught in a situation like this how would you have dealt with it if i were caught in a situation like this i would have dealt with it in a different way i would have revealed the truth to my friend earlier to avoid the unwanted situation but matilda and her husband ruined their life by hiding the truth by telling the truth to my friend and paying her only real cost of the necklace i would have avoided all miseries and mental agonies that matilda underwent next after her meeting with matilda madam frostier is upset with what happened she feels guilty for not telling her friend that the necklace was fake She wishes to make some amends for for the 10 years of suffering faced by Loisels. If Madam Frostier returns the necklace to Matilda, what value would it reflect? What would you have done if you were in her place? After her meeting with Matilda, Madam Frostier was upset with what happened. Madam Frostier feels guilty of not telling her friend that the necklace was not real. Matilda ruined her own life in paying for the necklace. Madam Frostier is a sensitive and kind lady. She helped Matilda by giving her the necklace. She could never imagine that her friend would undergo such a hardship for that fake necklace. 
After 10 years, after knowing the truth and reality, she must have been upset. She would have definitely returned the necklace to Madame Frostier. She was a lady full of compassion, sympathy and kindness. If I had been in her place, I would have done the same. Next question. What could have happened to Matilda if she had confessed to her friend that she had lost the necklace? Uh, this question I have already already discussed, but still let me give you some uh, same answer in a different way. If Matilda had confessed to her friend that uh, she had lost her necklace, she would have avoided the years of suffering that had to undergo that uh, they had to undergo. She would not have become a physical wreck. She could have paid her five hundred francs easily. So it is quite necessary to be truthful and honest. Moreover. Madame Frostier was a kind lady and full of compassion. Uh, she would have forgiven her for the loss. Confession would have saved her from such hardships. Contentment in one's life is very important to lend a peaceful life. We should, have, we should be happy with what we have and should not crave for what we don't have. Matilda suffered in her life because she was not contented in her life. What do you learn from her mistake in, li in, in life? Or, Matilda suffered because she was not content with what life has given to her. Do you, agree we, do you agree we should be content with what life gives us? It is true that contentment in one's life is very important to lend a peaceful life, to lead a peaceful life. We should be happy with what we have and should not crave for what we don't have. Matilda suffered in her life because she was not content in her life. She was a pretty beautiful lady and married an honest per and married an honest person. He was rich in uh, she was rich in values, but uh, honest person. He was rich in values, but mon mon uh, monetarily moderate. Matilda was not content with his job and salary. She wanted to lead a luxurious life, which he could not afford. Once she got an opportunity to attend a high-profile party, she did not have a proper dress and jewels. She borrowed a necklace from her friend. She lost it in the party and had to suffer for a long, for a long period of time just to pay for it. Her overambition and craze for luxury ruined her life. One must be satisfied with what one has is the lesson that I learned from her life. 4. To err is human. We all make mistakes in, la in our life. Those who make a confession may suffer less than those who don't. Give your opinion with reference to the story of Matilda who ruined her life just because she did not have the courage to confess her mistake. It has been rightly said that to err is human. We all make one or, one or the other mistake in our life. No one is perfect. Sometimes the situation is not in our hand. We make some mistakes and face losses. The same thing happened to Matilda. She was an overambitious lady. She wanted to go to the party with an expensive dress and necklace. She didn't have her own sources, so she borrowed it from her friend. Unfortunately, she lost it in the party. She did not want to tell it to her friend and brought a new one as a replacement. She was in debt and paid for it throughout her life. Her life was ruined. She came to know in the end, in the end that the lost necklace was not the real one, but it was too late. The course of her life could have changed had she confessed the loss. She suffered just because she did not have the courage to confess her mistake. My dear students, I again request you to listen to the content and if you have any problem, if you have uh, any question in your mind, you, can, you are free to ask, ask me, right? Uh, thank you very much, dear.